Welcome to this tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a bootstrap like toast for your Angular applications. You won't need to install any more fancy Angular toast libraries if you are able to maintain such a simple component in your application. Here is an example of what we are trying to achieve in this tutorial. Here we have a button, is info. If I click here, it's going to reveal a toast styled with a class of CSS. The same goes for our is success toast, and same goes for warning, and also we are able to call these toasts from any components in our applications. So if we should go to a child road, and here we have another button and I have just said it's info. Let's click this in our child component and we can see in this child root it also reveals a toast. Another thing with our notifier is that we are able to close this from a button. So you can click here to hide it and we can always reveal it at any time we want. For this tutorial, what I did is just create a service known as notifier service and a component also known as a notifier component. It's as simple as you can see. Here, as you can see, uh, in the service class, which is known as notifier service, all we did is declare an observable. So here we have a subject which is an observable and we also have the notice which is an observable that we are going to subscribe in our notifier component to reveal the message. Why are we using the observable subject? RxJS subject is a multicast observable. While a plain observable is unicast to its independent observer, Subject is a special case observable that works as an event listener that can maintain many listeners. That way we are able to multicast values from different components in our application. Next, what I did is, is just define a method and our first argument is the message. In this first argument, this is the message we want to display in our toast. And the second argument is the style. So here we are just referencing a style which we are going to merge with a CSS class that is going to style our toast. And here within this update method, you can see here we declare a notice as a constant. And here, and here we add, we have the message and the style. What we do next is, for each call of this method from our different components, we pass in the value, and here the value is going to be uh, the notice which we have uh, declared here, notice, which has a message and also a style. Then we want to set a timeout to clear our toast. So after a period of 7000 milliseconds, we want to clear our toast by closing it. To do that, we set our notice source to null. So next, uh, all we did was to just subscribe to this service in our notifier component. So here we have notifier.notice and we, since it's an observable, we use the async uh, pipe and we set that as a notice. And that is it. Here we define the classes for our CSS. If it's the argument style of error, we display the CSS class of danger. If it's success, we dif display the CSS class of success. Then here we define a button to close our notifier. So for example, if we want to clear our toast, we simply just click on uh, this button to close it up. And here we set HTML to display our notice message. So we have notice that message. That is all for this notifier component and the notifier service. All we need to do next is to call our notifier service and 
the update method from any component in our application. Uh, so for example, I have here a component known as home. In this component, I do provide our notifier service and here I can just uh, call the method notifier that method and I will add in the message which was our first argument in the method and then the class which is a CSS type we will use. And that is it. We can call this from different components in our application like I did in another child root uh, here. So here in our child root I also did the same thing just provide our service and call the method and update our message and with our style uh, argument also. Please do subscribe for there are more development videos that we intend to provide in the next future. See you.